Platinum Arts Sandbox is a free, easy to use uh, game design software um, project uh, that makes it easy for kids and adults to create their own games and worlds. Uh, we wanted to make it kid friendly, but also powerful enough uh, for full games to be made on top of it. Key features of it are in-game editing, uh, menus that simplify the process, uh, um, being able to just drop things in such as doing the lighting, you can just drop in lights um, and light it right from there. Um, also cooperative editing is an awesome feature. You can also, um, like this means that you can actually uh, join a server with a buddy and um, work on work, work on maps together. The initial aim of the project uh, was, was just to make some kind of game creation software. Uh, because I, I, I was kind of tired with using, uh, you know, the general editors that come with uh, different games and, uh, you know, for, for modding and for making maps. And I thought there had to be a simpler and easier way to make games and I really wanted to uh, work on a product that simplified the process. I think that um, Sandbox is, is extremely valuable for kids to uh, have access to and to use. Because uh, first of all, they can express their artistic creativity in so many different ways. Uh, between uh, textures, between um, creating the actual 3D worlds and environments, um, between, between skinning um, and working with the code. Uh, in addition to that, um, in addition to being able to express themselves cre uh, creatively, uh, there's also uh, the ability to learn math through the coding. There's physics. Uh, in, in the way the world will work because with the gravity and uh, also uh, jump pads and um, all that good stuff. Uh, over the summer I taught uh, at a kids camp and I had about 60 kids total. Every single kid absolutely loved it and it was it was so great to see the fire in their eyes and and, and the stuff that they created it, 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 it amazed me. And, uh, I actually had to force them to, to take breaks because um, they didn't want to, they, and they, they didn't want to leave at the end of the day. They wanted to keep going, and they, they always begged me too to um, to set up the co-op server so we could always so we could co-op edit. And they loved going through the maps, uh, you know, during our during our races. Uh, a lot of them made some pretty cool RPGs, and uh, um, one of them one of them especially, which I was really impressed with, had lots of different options in, in the dialogue, uh, which was pretty impressive, you know, for only uh, you know a week to two weeks time of uh, uh, working on that stuff. We decided to use uh, the Cube 2 engine, and the reason for this is for, uh, I, I think a big strength of it is the in-game editing, because I know that this would be a big help for kids, um, and you know for adults too, to, to get into the game creation process. And also the fact that it included co-op editing was a huge deal, and you can plop down uh, you know, the models easily and such. And uh, um, you know, through Sandbox, our our main role has been to simplify the menus, make stuff easier, make that whole process easier, and add in features uh, that way. And we've also added lots of, and lots of other things too, um, including uh, language translations, um, you know, and different maps and, and uh, stuff for for kids to use. And it's also great that it's that it's open source. That's really been a huge draw too, and it's standalone. As for a software that has proven invaluable, this is actually a software that's really important for um, for all the products that I've been on. Uh, one being the GIMP for um, for textures. Uh, it is extremely powerful uh, image editing program. Um, it's also well, it can also be used for skins and all that good stuff too. Um, it's extremely powerful image program and it's free. Uh, it's great. Uh, I, I love it. And also Blender, for it's a free program to create 3D models. Uh, also for uh, our coding for the Windows side, I've been using CodeBlox, um, which, is, which is a great program. But there's also a free version of Visual Studio uh, Express. And uh, that is also useful for compiling uh, you know, the binaries to make the game work. Um, and also for any sound editing, uh, I found Audacity uh, extremely useful as well, and that's free software as well. As far as distributing the workload for the team, right now it's just me uh, and my coder Hirato, as he likes to go as. Um, he 
mainly focuses on the coding and generally I'm told to stay away from the coding because I'm not really the best coder in the world but I definitely do try and uh, I, I'm certainly improving. Um, he's also very good at level design and he's been using Cube 2 for a while uh, before I even started work on Sandbox uh, so he's been an absolutely huge asset to the team in helping me move forward. Uh, my main rules are to actually uh, promote Sandbox to uh, try to um, you know, keep its direction focused, um, you know, also figure out what's next for Sandbox. As far as the biggest problems for the project, uh, for me starting out it was definitely the coding. So I, that's really a new area for me. Um, I, I'm pretty good at understanding the flow of it, I just can't write it because I always mess the syntax up, I forget a bracket or something, I ended up you know, pretty much uh, coming close to destroying the entire world. Uh, you know, because I, I forgot a semicolon or something. Um, but Harato uh, joining on the project has been a huge help with that. Um, and also, uh, some of the biggest challenges have been marketing it because, you know, when I say kid friendly, some people think that it's only for kids. Um, and so, you know, them being adults, they don't want to try it. Um, and since I think it's just supposed to be for kids. Um, so I've been really trying to uh, promote the fact that it's both for kids and adults. As far as uh, playtesting and release, um, thankfully we have a lot of people who are interested and supportive of Sandbox, which give us feedback um, on all the different platforms. Um, also, we do a lot of internal testing and uh, checking it out ourselves, and also the fact that I use it in so many different uh, you know, classroom settings and uh, um, areas. I'm able to see, I'm able to test it on different hardware um, and in different situations and find problems. and um, you know, try to figure them out, and also the kids are, are really good about uh, finding stuff and asking questions um, and saying, you know, why this doesn't seem to be working the way it's supposed to, etc. Uh, and also the kids are, are a great source of giving us feedback as far as features for the future and, and for making stuff uh, easier. I always made sure at the end of each game camp week to, to ask them, you know, what do they wish was in Sandbox, what do they wish, uh, uh, you know, could be improved about Sandbox, etc. Um, and, you know, things have changed based on their feedback. Uh, so, you know, all that feedback from the community and such is, is really important. We do try to release every uh, every few months at the most. Um, we also do keep our SVN open, and anyone is free to just download download our SVN and, and have the latest and greatest uh, of of what we have on there. Um, you know, see what we're up to.